What's going on you guys? This is a Mexican here, another Dell Optiplex. This is a 3060 small foam factor. Gonna be upgrades for gaming. So there are two thumb screws in the back. And you're gonna slide to the left the cycle panel. First of all, we'll do it, guys. Is I'm gonna remove the front cover basil. Or we'll clips on Put your finger, and it slides to the right like this. Comes off. And I'm gonna move the hard drive cage and the caddy. So you lift, the, you press your finger like this. And this can move the three and a half inch hard drive, and it's she's got a plastic caddy. Comes off like this. What I will do is I'm gonna remove the cage. There's a little clip here, unclip for unlock, and it slides out like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable from the optical drive. Because I'm going to be installing the M.2 solid state drive in here. And to do that, I need a... I'll need a screw to stand off M.2 screw you will need. You probably have to buy that online. So you install it right here in the middle. It's for the 2280. That's installed. And I'm gonna be installing the 256. Uh, this is the sand discs. You guys can zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in the camera. You guys can see better. Yeah, so basically it's a 256 sand disc, uh, sand disc X400. I'm gonna install it. You can use the other brand, but I'll put in the I'll put in the description. You guys will see it on the comment top comment. You'll see all the parts I use, and you're gonna install the screw that comes with the standoff. And that's installed. Now, what guys I'll do is upgrade the memory. So using a DDR4, and the processor I have here installed is uh, six core Intel Core i5 8500. And I'm going to be using the match pair. So it'll be a total of 16 gigs, eight gig per each slot. When you install the memory properly, you're going to hear two clicks. Now I'm gonna go install back the. I'm gonna zoom in at the camera. So optical drive, you're gonna connect back the SATA and power cable. So be the guys, I'll show you that you can use uh, three and a half inch. I'm gonna be upgrading to two terabytes. So you install it like this. And you're gonna connect the SATA and power cable. This is for the three and a half inch, if you wanna install, uh, this is two terabytes. Now I wanna show you guys installing two and a half inch, either hard drive or solid state drive. So I have here, show you, this is the plastic caddy for the Dell. And it's a three and a half inch to two and a half inch installed like this. So you can have one hard drive in here, two and a half inch, and one solid state drive like this. So this is a two and a half inch uh, hard drive. Or you can have another two and a half inch hard drive in here and have for extra storage. And you're gonna install like this. I'll show you guys. So you go like this, connect, and it clips in. And 
And what you guys are gonna do is, I'm gonna zoom out. So you will need a Y splitter cable. You can buy this online they sell. Then what you're gonna do is plug in like this. And you're gonna connect for directly the two and a half inch hard drive and a soul state drive like this. Then what you have to do is disconnect it from the optical drive. You're not gonna be using optical drive anymore. Then you're just gonna connect directly to the hard drive and a soul state drive, the SATA cable. Like this. That's how you're gonna install it. And basically the main boot drive will be the one we installed the M.2. So that'll be for the main boot. This will be for the extra storage if you wanna do that. So let me go and disconnect that again. Because I'm gonna be using just a three and a half inch. Stubby lock like this. Now you have to go back and disconnect the, uh, install back the optical drive city cable. Clips back in. I'm gonna show you guys the last part. It will be the video card. So we're gonna install, it's got a, the top one is a PCI Express times one slot, the black one, and the blue slot right here, the bottom one, is PCI Express times 16. That's where we're going to install the video card. To do that, I'm going to be guys using, uh, I'm going to show you the GT, uh, GeForce GT 1030. This is a Gigabyte brand. And it's a low profile. And they include both a uh, low profile bracket and you get a... Uh, Full high bracket, where's the other bracket at? So, let me see. So they include both uh, brackets you get. Low profile and the full high bracket they include. So you're gonna change it to the low profile bracket. Then we're gonna install it. The video card, first you have to do is you need a pliers. And you're going to move the, or the PCI bracket, this one is already built into the case. So you're going to take a pliers like this, remove it. And install the video card. So the video card is installed, now you clip this back in the latch and that's how it's going to look like. It's got a DVI and HDMI port. Now I'm going to go and install back the front cover bezel. And the side cover panel. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.